Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to set up an iPad mini. As you can see right here, I have my iPad mini and I'm going to be going over the setup process with you. So let's get right to it. I'm going to start off by pushing the home button and as you can see, it lights up the screen and says hello. It says slide to set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide to set up. So now it brings me some different languages as options. I'm going to go ahead and choose the language that I would like and I am going to be choosing English. So select the language, then you have to select your country or region. I live in Canada, so I'm going to go ahead and select Canada right there. Now it says choose a Wi-Fi network and I'm just going to be blurring this out because I don't want to um, expose any of the information um, you know regarding the Wi-Fi networks that I am near so I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the Wi-Fi networks and then it's going to prompt me for a password I'm just going to skip over this part in the video because I don't want to reveal the password for the Wi-Fi network so I will be right back once I have entered the password all right, so now that I have entered the password, I'm going to join the Wi-Fi network, give it a few moments to connect, and it has connected, and then it's just going to actually activate the iPad, and then now it's, it's basically you have to choose whether or not you want to enable location services. It is completely up to you. I like to enable it, so I'm going to click enable location services. Let's just try clicking it again. Um, now it is prompting me to create a password code so you can create a passcode I personally don't want to create a passcode if you are gonna create one go ahead and enter it in right now but if you don't want to create one you're gonna click passcode options let's just click it again one more time my fingers actually uh, it wasn't in the right spot and then um, it gives you a few options and you are gonna click don't add passcode if you don't want to add a passcode just like that and it just uh, makes sure that you don't want to add a passcode. Are you sure that you don't want to use one? Um, you can either go back and click add passcode to add one in or continue if you do not want to use one. All right, so now it is prompting me to, if, if it is asking me if I want to restore the iPad or set it up as a brand new iPad. If you want to restore it, you can restore it in one of two ways. You can restore it from an iCloud backup or you can restore it from an iTunes backup. But if you are setting up the iPad as a brand new iPad, just like I am right now, you're going to go ahead and click set up as new iPad right there and now it is going to ask you for an Apple ID now you can enter your Apple ID or you can create a new one or you can start you can set up the iPad without an Apple ID um, and then you can you have the option to add in an Apple ID later on so if you already have an Apple ID and password go ahead and enter it in right now if you need to create a new one click don't have an Apple ID or forgot it I'm just going to go ahead and click it and you can now create your Apple ID or re retrieve a forgotten password or if you want to set up the iPad without an Apple ID you can click this option right here which says set up later in settings and that is the one that I'm going to do it just makes sure that that is what you want to do um, once again you can go back and click use Apple ID if you want to if you've changed your mind and you want to use an Apple ID or you can click don't use just like I'm going to click now uh, I'm just going to give it a few moments terms and conditions um, you can go ahead and read them through I have already read these terms and conditions uh, more than a few times I've actually read them a few times so I'm just going to click agree right down there and then it is asking me if I want to turn Siri on or not I'm going to turn on Siri and if I want to send my diagnostics to Apple um, usually I send them but I'm just setting up this iPad just for this tutorial um, so I'm just gonna click don't send just for this time but generally speaking I do send my diagnostics to Apple welcome to iPad the uh, setup process is pretty much finished finished <laughs> it's pretty much finished just click get started and that's it it is literally that simple now if you want to set up an Apple ID at a later time you can go to settings 
If you did the option that, that I did and you didn't use an Apple ID, you can go to settings. Uh, once again, I'm just going to be blurring out the Wi-Fi network just to not, just to avoid exposing anything. Um, so you're going to go to settings and you're going to click iCloud right there. And then you can go ahead and you can sign in with an Apple ID. And that's basically it and then you know there are other options here and so forth you can click iTunes and App Store and sign in with your Apple ID or create an Apple ID and use it here um, and that's basically it in this video I've shown you how to set up an iPad it is a fairly simple process and I have walked you through it in a step-by-step -step manner once again, I have set up this iPad without using an Apple ID. However, you can go ahead and you can use an Apple ID or you can choose um, other options that, uh, you know, the ones that I didn't choose regarding um, turning on Siri, turning on location services and so forth. Um, it's completely up to you, but I've walked you through the entire process. And just as I said before, feel free to choose other options um, than I have chosen when I was setting up the iPad and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.